A Z71, Andre. You're joking, man. We got the big boy Chevy off-road heavy-duty Ellison. That's a lot of branding words. What are we gonna do with this truck today? Well, we're gonna take it up and down the new Andre Spit yeah. to see how the Z71 off-road version of this big diesel-powered truck can do. Yeah, so let me tell you kind of what you're gonna see in this video. So we are gonna go down to Andre's pit, and if you've been following our off-road series, we're actually building out an off-road testing course in Andre's pit, which includes things like Whole Street and <laughs> Logs Avenue and Rocks Boulevard, and of course my favorite Pooth <laughs> Poo Path. Uh, and then uh, because the only thing that's really finished right now is Volcano Way. We're gonna take the truck up Volcano Way. Isn't that right, Andre? That's a lot of cool names. And actually, I haven't been here in about a week and I haven't seen a lot of these areas. Yeah, yeah, and so tell us about this truck. Why don't you give us a little walk around before we go and actually off-road it? Yeah, so this is a brand new 2022 Silverado HD 2500. It is a crew cab and it's got a standard bed. So it's not an eight foot bed, thank goodness, but it's still a very, very giant truck. It's diesel powered. Um, and um, I think we'll start with the engine first and the um, powertrain, and then I'll kind of show you the tires. How about that? Well, pop the hood. You All forgot right. to pop it. So if you guys have been watching our truck channel, and the way, of course, you keep up with all of our videos is you go to tfl-studios.com, and we've got all of our videos there. Uh, this weekend, we actually compared this to our new Ram 2500 on the Ike Gauntlet. Yeah, and also we have another video coming up, which is a drag race, which is going to be huge. Yeah, we took all the three heavy-duty diesels and drag raced them, and let's do this. Let's put a little preview at the end of this video so you guys can see it. Yeah, and one thing, Roman, to notice is how big this truck is, how tall, right? We're standing next to the hood. <laughs> And it's our chest height, <laughs> but what's hiding under it is a 6.6 .6 liter, of course, the Duramax V8 turbocharged, uh, 445 horsepower, 910 pound-feet of torque. So this rating has been around for a few years, actually. Yes, Andre, but uh, it's, you know, very torquey, and of course, the controversy is with the Allison branded transmission. Why are people all uptight about that? Well, so it's a very complicated subject, but so General Motors and Allison, actually they used to be one company, yep. you know, one uh, GM owned Allison, and then they kind of split, but they've been working together for decades. And right now they're separate, but uh, what GM did here is they developed a 10-speed automatic, and then they sent it to Allison, right? And they said, please verify it, validate it. And then they put this brand on it, Allison Transmission right there. So what Allison basically said, yeah, this transmission passes all of our tests and everything like that, but it's technically not produced by Allison. So that's kind of the controversy. Andre, some say, yes, very top gear way of <laughs> opening this bit up, that this is the ugliest truck in the land. Would you agree? I mean, look at it, uh, it it's pretty much as aggressive as you can get, right? Uh, it's all front fascia. Yes. A lot of chrome, a lot of attitude. Uh, and look, I mean, look at this, you know, in Europe they have like crash <laughs> test standards. Crash for pedestrians, smash. Right, this is up to my chinny chin chin, dude. <laughs> What do you think of the, uh, uh, of so the design? I'm, I'm not a fan of chrome. I, I, don't, I, don't, I disagree. I don't think it's the ugliest thing ever. Uh, I would prefer kind of a more of a blacked out look up here in the front, but I just think it looks like a semi truck. It looks big. Yeah, you know, uh, there's this design trend right now in the industry that is you got to make every version of the vehicle more aggressive, more mean, more macho. Uh, and, you know, you end up with something which is not just a fist into the wind, right? It's, it's not, double fist. It's like a double <laughs> fist into the wind at this point. Let me turn on the light really quick. And so while, you can... while he's doing that, guys, let me just thank our friends at Onyx Off-Road. If you guys are looking for a great app, uh, to go off-roading, check out Onyx Off-Road. The cool thing about it is you can download it to your phone, uh, and when you do that, then you've got the map in your phone, so we get all these emails, Andres, people asking us, like, where do we go off-roading? I'm just saying, get Onyx, it'll show you. It rates the, it rates the path, it rates the uh, trails. Uh, it's just a great uh, sponsor for this video. Yeah, but you also forgot the most important part. Which is? It's Apple CarPlay enabled and Android Auto, so when, when you connect it to your truck, it's right there in your head unit. Yep, and click the link below if you guys are interested in it. So, whoa, those are the headlights? I thought these guys were the headlights. No, no, this is just a marker light and a turn signal. The main light 
lights are down here and they have of course the LED signature and I think if you got a, a work version of this truck with standard headlights that's a little frumpy I, I kind of like this more how much is this bad boy Andre oh uh, it's quite expensive dude I'm thinking uh, it's at least 70k it's an LTZ version, so right. it's got a lot of luxury features as well. Uh, 77,000 plus. Wow. Almost 78. How's, uh, how's the bed? Do we have the uh, special tailgate that GM builds? Yes, but before we get there, let's talk briefly about the suspension and the tires because that's going to be very important today in the Andreas Pit. Uh, these are a Goodyear Wrangler uh, Trail Runner all-terrain but it's a little bit on the light side as far as aggressiveness yeah i compared them to the ram that we have and they feel more on-road or dare i say it all season-y than they do off-roady uh but still i mean pretty good uh, we'll, we'll test it uh of course rancho shocks i don't know if you can see that but these little red uh you can see that red top of the shock the bed well first of all gm is doing this now right it's the side step, yeah, which is useful. And this, the back side step. I yep. love that. That's really cool. And the fancy tailgate. Yeah, show them. So you hit two buttons and the water, it water falls down and there you have another step. Yeah, you know, I, I think tailgate wars have been good for the truck buyer, Andre. Yeah. Uh, our Ram is not a base unit, but nevertheless, it doesn't have this, and I wish it did, because these trucks have become so tall that getting in and out of them uh, is getting quite tricky. And then you've, you, of course, have you know a lot of length. This is about 6 foot 10 inches. You do have this handle, so if you need an assist getting in. And another reason why it's uh, up there in the t upper $70,000 range, it has this uh, gooseneck fifth wheel prep package. Uh, it will tow up to about 18,500 pounds. Which is a lot. Which is a lot. Which is a lot for a 2500. Um, you're getting into almost, you know, CDL territory there. Totally. So, uh, and of course, uh, I want to show one more thing. So, first of all, G80 rear um, limited slip differential. Yeah, that's a locker that, of course, GM has been using since you for were decades. born. <laughs> <laughs> that locks the rear diff when one wheel spins. It's a mechanical device, right? Yeah. But it's not driver controlled. Yep. And I like this, you know, this is kind of a thoughtful feature where you get the little uh, built-in cap. I'm a, kind of weird about that. I like having like a little schwunt, a little, you know, plug pl plug there because this starts to rust. And when I see that all rusty, it always just bugs me for some reason. And with this, you get to keep it nice and dry. Yeah, and Mr. Truck will tell you that this is also connected to the sensor on a tailgate. Uh -huh. So when this is up, it will prevent the tailgate from coming down in case you have a hitch. That's really thoughtful. So yeah. they're, they're actually I, I, good. I don't know how many tailgates I've seen with that, you know, dimple right there <laughs> from where, you know, you've lowered it onto the hitch. And that has got to be the biggest exhaust pipe uh, in the business. Should I start it? Yeah, start it up. Ford, right. Ford has that dual one, you know, where the, yeah. it turns into two, but that is... That is the size of a 16-inch softball, if you're from Chicago. I used to play softball in Chicago. 12-inch, too. Very quiet for diesel. Barely hear it. Yeah, yeah, that's very quiet indeed. All right, so uh, while Andre's in the truck, let's hop in. We'll go down to Andre's pit, and we'll do a little bit of off-roading, since this is an off-road video. And... On our way down there, we can talk about the interior because I've got a lot to say about that, Andre. I was saying we can talk about the interior. Yeah. It, it feels a little dated, dude. It, it does. And uh, basically, this truck was brand new in 2020. Yeah. They did redesign it. But I think... I think... You think they didn't quite do enough. Yeah, you know, this, right? is, this is... Is this as big as the screen gets? Yes, this is. That, that feels really this, small. How big is, is that screen? 10 inches? Eight, eight. Eight inches, eight. wow. So, Ouch. I mean, of course, a base RAM also has an eight-inch screen and et cetera, et cetera, a uh, base Ford. But uh, those guys also offer bigger screens and a little bit more, a little bit more modern, maybe. Now, if you recall, we had uh, a Trail Boss, the 1500, and this feels very familiar to me. It's almost identical to that. And yeah. for 2022, in the half ton, they are redesigning... Uh, the interior so you are getting a new interior and but this is still the old uh, one that you know people were a little disappointed with and the rumor is that the new interior updates from 2022 are going in heavy duty trucks maybe a year later um, over here i have my four-wheel drive controls and i don't know if you guys can see it but i do have auto mode uh, which is unique to G gm gm is the only heavy duty truck with all-wheel drive capability 
Which mode should I use? For high, auto, for you, low? You know, so the course that we've designed is meant, uh, if you look down to the ranch, you'll see that there's two parts. So there's the front part and the back part. And way in the back there, that's going to be our, you know, like our truck off-road. By the trees, right? Yeah. This, this uh, pit that we've designed and named after you, Andre, is more for crossovers. <laughs> so let's try it in just regular auto and see how it does, because it's not really designed to test big heavy-duty trucks. It's designed to test, you know, things like the Honda CRV or the Toyota RAV4. Uh, the other thing I would say is let's check out the cameras uh, and talk about what kind of cameras we get. I'm always a big kind of stickler for like having the truck match the color of the truck. I mm -hmm. think it'd be so easy. So it feels like it's a little lazy. Like, you know, our truck is what, green? Uh, this truck is white. I'm sure it would have taken a little bit of code to turn this thing green instead of white. I would agree, but GM, you know, they're kind of kings of camera views. Yeah. I mean, they have everything up and down and all the way around. Yeah, and why does it, why, the color is not matched. Yeah, it matched yeah, the I, color. I agree. Uh, here are my front tires. You can kind of see those. Let's start moving. Okay. Um, and, of course, we have trailering uh, options and for, many others. For those of you who aren't in the biz, towing. <laughs> yes. Oh, and you can see what's in the back. So if Blaze was back there, you could see him, or if you more realistically had a, a fifth wheel back there, you could actually yes. see the hitch moving and doing whatever it does. So how, how I, I do have a heads-up display. Yeah. You probably won't see it, but it does show me my kind of inc inclination and my pitch and roll. Um, All-wheel drive is enabled, and uh, yeah, we're on our way. How about the uh, ride quality? That's always been the biggest kind of turnoff for people, right? These heavy-duty trucks are towing rigs, and so they've usually, when it comes to off-roading, have got a pretty harsh ride. And I, I think they're getting better over the years, but it's certainly not, um, you know, a, a softly sprung Baja runner like a Raptor no. or a TRX. And GM is actually unique uh, in this space. Um, they gave this truck a, a slightly higher gross vehicle weight and stiffer springs for this 2500 so it's about 11,350 pounds gross vehicle weight which is more than a ford comparable ford or or ram did you uh, so so this the springs are a little bit stiffer did you happen to look at the payload yeah we have over 3,000 of it so wow. we can we can carry five of us plus i don't know rock in the back <laughs> uh hay half anyway. a skid steer uh, yes half a skid, skid, <laughs> skid steer so we can we can carry a lot yeah that, that's good uh this is, of course, what these trucks are designed to do, right? These are designed to be work trucks in a lot of ways. Haul a lot, tow a lot. Uh, and as off-road trucks, uh, I have found in all of our testing, and we've taken actually this version of it to Moab, if you remember, mm -hmm. like two years ago. Uh, I always found them to be just a little big, a little cumbersome, and just a little bit, um, on the, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like they don't go over the land. They crush it. They crush it into <laughs> submission. <laughs> well, it's because this truck, in particular, weighs about 8,200 pounds. Yeah. It will crush everything into submission. Uh, so let's, let's take a ride down into Andre's pit, and we will show you all the work that we've been doing. And if you guys want to uh, check out this uh, off-road course coming together, don't go down Poop Way, Andre. you got to go left. Well, should we introduce it? Yeah, uh, yeah, get, yeah. get the signs? or I left them up there. Okay. Yeah, so we'll show people. But yeah, the Poop Way is probably not the greatest uh, way to... Maybe it's not the good way, way yeah. to start. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Poop Path. I think. Can I you explain poop the Poop Way? You know, what is it? Uh, well, we, we had uh, a corral where the farmer that owned this rancher actually kept his cattle and we decided to uh, take all the poop uh, and move it away because we're using that for something else. And yeah. so we dumped it over here in your pit <laughs> and then we thought to ourselves, well, what do we do with it? And we thought, oh, it's very slick and slippery, so let's make it into an obstacle. So let me show you guys the rest of uh, Andre's pit. Okay, I'll stop right here. You, you stop right here. I'll line up. You line up, just don't go over the rocks. Okay. So uh, yeah, here in uh, the pit, we've got poop path over here. Uh, we're working on the rocks course, which will be right there. As you can see, we've got the rocks laid down. Um, and it's every Sunday we're doing a video series, Andre, called Taming Tumbleweed. Uh, and it's the progression of this coming together. And uh -huh. it's actually a lot of work. Uh, so this is a preview of what's coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can see David has laid down a lot of logs. So that's going to be the log way up. We're calling that logs. And then next to it is another path. Uh, that's going to be holes. So we're going to dig okay. holes there for articulation. Uh -huh. And then if you can see over there where the volcano is, uh, we're calling that volcano. 
Um, it's kind of dark yeah, soil. Yeah, and so this is the one that's just going to stay natural. It's loose soil, uh, tests a vehicle's approach angle, it also tests its grip. Uh, and so I think since none of these are finished yet, we'll try Volcano. Are you up for it? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm a little bit worried. If you look at this truck, so the wheelbase is quite long. Yeah. I believe it's close to 160 inches. Yeah, it's like a battleship. Uh, it's, it is kind of a, like a battleship, and it doesn't have a great turning radius, right? Uh, but I have enough ground clearance. Uh, the LTZ would normally come with uh, side steps, but these are on this truck have been removed on, on purpose because I, I wanted to do a little bit of off-roading in this truck. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I can do it. All right, how about if I uh, show you uh, the path and then you go for it, do it and see how it does up. You'll be the first vehicle to go up the volcano. Okay. So let me show you the volcano. We've actually marked it out in preparation. And, and as you can see, it's uh, very soft, very slippery. Um, so it's gonna test not only the approach angle, but also how much grip. So we'll see how Andre does. So come on, Andre. This is probably the hardest of the obstacles in Andre's pit. Um, but I don't know, we haven't really gone up um, logs or rocks or holes yet. Looking good, Andre. So let's let's see what the approach angle's like. It's looking good. A little bit toward driver. Driver, 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 more driver. All right, now you're going into the hole and uh, looks like you're gonna be fine. Good. Are you an auto, four? I'm an automatic uh, uh, all-wheel right. drive. All right, go for it. Getting close. My proximity warning is, is uh, vibrating the seat. Oh, look at that. I could crawl underneath the truck now. <laughs> oh, you might hit, the, hold on, hold on. How's my hitch? Uh, your hitch is hitting. Your departure angle's a little tight. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, go left, go driver. All right, let's see how the truck does. Look at that. Made it look easy. With the only damage being that the little hitch cover got <laughs> thrown up. <laughs> Once again, guys, uh, this is really meant as a test for uh, crossovers, you know, not uh, heavy duty trucks <laughs> with off road packages. Only damage, Andre, was your little hitch cover came up. Oh, it opened? It opened, yeah. What'd well, you, you know what? Um, it kind of slipped a little bit. Yeah, you got a little bit of wheel spin, but otherwise, because it's, look, the thing is, it's so long that by the, like a normal crossover, you'd have all four <laughs> wheels in the volcano. But because that truck is so long, by the time, you know, the back wheels started to slip, the front wheels were on firm uh, dirt. Terra firma. Terra firma, yeah, so you were good. <laughs> okay, well, I was nervous about the approach, but, you know, it was, maybe I should go over there. No, I'll you probably scrape. I mean, if you go, that would be, you'll, if you go I'll, over there, you'll definitely plow. Um, well, yeah. should I go around one more time? Uh, yeah, sure, go okay. around one more time. Let me, let me, I'll come down this way. Yeah, come on down the holes. You want to try logs? I don't know, I think the truck is too heavy. Yeah, it might tear the logs out. We tore them out the other day. I don't want to destroy um, all the hard work that uh, David has put into this so far. Uh, so. We'll keep this for crossovers. Um, like I was saying, you know, these trucks are, of course, more tow rigs. Uh, but the cool thing about them is they're also really quick uh, because they've got tons of torque. And acceleration is not about horsepower, but about torque. Top end speed is about horsepower. Uh, so we did do a drag race with the Chevy versus the Ford Super Duty versus the Ram. Uh, 2500 with the Cummins and that's going to be on uh, TFL truck this weekend uh, and as Andre comes down uh, why don't we uh... good job Andre okay. I think we're good Andre okay why don't we uh, cut to that preview uh, and guys uh, come back on Sunday uh, when you can see us actually building this course and seeing what we're doing on our new episode of Taming Tumble. Hey Andre what's better than drag racing mid-sized trucks? I think half-ton trucks. That's right, Andre. And Nathan, what's better than drag racing half-ton trucks? Heavy-duty trucks. And boys, what's better than drag racing heavy-duty trucks over an eighth of a mile? Okay, traction control off. I'm gonna win this one. I know this. All right, here we go. Oh, 
Nathan took off like a bed out of hell. Oh. I am floored. Duramax says bye-bye. <laughs> but so close, so close. And here comes Andre. Come on, come in. Roman, look what I found here in Andre's pit. What the heck is that? I don't know, but I, I'd never, I haven't seen it here before. Does it ratchet? I think it does ratchet. Look, look, it kind of has a complicated uh, mechanism here. Yeah, look at that. Hey guys, uh, let us know in the comments below if you know what this thing does and what it's used for, uh, because uh, obviously it looks like we found a piece of uh, history, Andre. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like to help string a fence or something, tighten, tighten wires or squeeze something. Yeah, like could that be like used to you know castrate cattle? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, why don't you pull out using uh, poop path? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. This, yeah, this come is on. a brand new truck. Uh, just yeah, go up poop path. I want to see it. Come on. Okay. Why not? Come this way. Oh, well, it's going to be interesting. This is a test of. Uh, your nostrils more than anything else. <laughs> All right, Andre. Andre! This way. No, this way. Come on. Don't be afraid. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. All right. Our first test of poop path. Okay, straight on up. Yeah, we're testing the tires with all these sticky. And now he's about to enter the path of despair. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We're compressing it. <laughs> and the truck did great.